Nigerian journalist Afor FM Afor Bunor describes what happened during the hashtag NSARS protest as the Lekki Tollgate massacre. According to her and other eyewitness accounts, over 70 peaceful protesters lost their lives at the hands of the Nigerian army. What had happened at Lekki Tollgate on Tuesday this week is called the Lekki Tollgate massacre. There have been report that over 70 people died. Eyewitnesses have said that um, they um, took some bodies away, so they couldn't retrieve the bodies. Um, the Nigerian army have debunked that and called it a fake news that he did, and that they were not at the Lekki toll gate. Everyone is denying and not taking responsibility for the massacre um, that has happened at um, uh, the Lekki to, um, toll gate. And um, right now, a lot of people feel sad. A lot of people in Nigeria want to leave. A lot of young people in Nigeria are looking for an exit out of Nigeria. I've had a lot of people call me. They want to be out of there. A lot of young people. Feel, they don't feel safe anymore. They feel like um, they will be targeted exactly. because now that the government is hiding the truth mm -hmm. for them, it, it, it is saying they are not safe. It mm -hmm. means if someone, if something goes wrong mm -hmm. and something happens to them, the government is going to tell the world exactly. that they never existed. SARS was initially created as a response from the government to fight crimes such as robbery, but instead, the special police unit has become synonymous with police brutality, extortion, and other human rights abuses, such as arbitrarily arresting young people for their dress code and raping innocent women. In the Nigerian police force, there are various departments. And one of such departments is the criminal department. And in the criminal department, there is a unit called the special a robbery squad, popularly known as SARS. So this SARS is a unit in that department, but their um, objective is to is targeted at um, robbery, robbers, armed robbers, yes. and um, kidnappers. So what started out as a great objective, a great mission, you know, for the Nigerian police force turned out into uh, the NSAS movement as a result of the brutality meted out on innocent citizens of Nigeria. The military officers implicated in the civilian killings have been exempted from punishment by the Nigerian president. Reports also show that journalists have been targeted by SARS and the military in an attempt to censor the media and to cover up these brutal killings. So far, the hashtag NSARS movements have received international attention, where the UN Secretary General, Amnesty International and the European Union have condemned the atrocities committed against civilians by the Nigerian government.